internet. Wait, what's the internet? The internet is like a big spider's web. Ugh, a giant spider's web? Does that mean it's for spiders? Mm, the internet isn't for spiders. Man, how do I know what to believe? Just watch this. But how does the internet actually work? Well, my friend. information out there. How can you tell if information is true or false before you pass it on? Information is not always true, so kids, you gotta know what to do. You gotta think before you believe something you read or hear or see. Yes, information is not always true, so kids, you gotta know what to do. You gotta think before you believe something you read or hear or see. I'm telling you, it's not easy to know what you should believe, but start by asking yourself these questions cause it can help. Who did the information come from? Who? Think about it. Do we trust them? Why? Why did they write it? Why was the information shared to be helpful or nice? Who did the information come from? Who? Think about it. Do we trust them? Why? Why did they write it? Why was the information shared to be helpful or nice? Next up, radio. And we have another caller on the line. Hello, caller. Can you tell us your name, please? Yes, my name is Baraka. So, what's your question for us here on Kokotoa Radio? My question for you is, who first came up with the money tree rumor? Uh, so... You know, Baraka, we don't actually know who comes up with these things. We just share any information we get told. Well, I can help you there. Who did the information come from? Who? Think about it. Do we trust them? Why? Why did they write it? Why was the information shared to be helpful or nice? Ah, that's impressive, Baraka. I am so glad you called. I'm gonna remember that advice before I share information, especially on the radio. Yeah. And I think that can be our next call-in topic. So, listeners, give us a call and tell us how you find out if information you get is true or false. Hizi habari za kwenye internet mnaziamini vipi? Si tunaziamini tu za kwenye mitandao. Eh eh. Hi, Abwan. Hey, my 
my friends, my dear friends, listen up. I've got something very important to tell you. On the internet, some information is true, but some is false. So before you believe what you hear or see or read, you need to ask yourself three things. Knowing that it was written by some person, you need to know who that person is, where you found the information, and why it was written. So friends, think about these three things when you get information from the internet. Bye! Man, the internet has so much information. It's hard to tell what is true and what is false. But that's why we have to follow the same steps the animals use. Who did the information come from? Who? Think about it. Do we trust them? Look, this is where it came from. Money doesn't just grow on trees. Why savings matter? So that's it. The image came from this website about how to manage your money. Well, we need to find out who wrote it. Ah, look down here. It says it was written by an international news agency. It seems like we can trust the person who wrote it. But really, does money grow on trees? But we're not finished. Don't forget the second step. Why? Why did they write it? Why was the information shared to be helpful or nice? The internet, the internet, it is like a spider's web. The internet, the internet, it connects computers, phones, and tablets. It holds lots of information from across the world, connecting us across the globe, making our voices heard. Watch videos today. Connect with your friends wherever they are. If they can use the internet, they're never too far. Information is not always true, so kids, you gotta know what to do. You gotta think before you believe something you read or hear or see. Yes, information is not always true, so kids, you gotta know what to do. You gotta think before you believe something you read or hear or see. I'm telling you, it's not easy to know what you should believe. But start by asking yourself these questions because it can help. Who did the information come from? Who? Think about it. Trust them. Why? Why did they write it? Why was the information shared to be helpful or nice?